I got a 14 hour clock and these runs we use damn near every minute of the 14 hour clock fucking with these runs and I don't know why that they don't demand that these loads be loaded sooner what's up YouTube welcome back to breaking truckers what the f happened to you man Shout out to Dirty Trucking. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. You know, and I don't like being forced to work a shift that I don't want to work. These out, these runs I'm doing are 12 hours. The later you come in, the more traffic situations you deal with. Now we got one load that goes down to Joliet, Illinois. That's a bitch trying to get through that traffic still. And the, and the, the the um, construction is, is is almost done down there, but the traffic is still the same condition. Going out is worse. And I have no idea why it's worse going out. Coming through Indiana, into Illinois, is it going out of Illinois, back into Indiana. The traffic. I don't like no runs like that. The fact that I sit up here and had to dedicate 12 hours of my drive time to deal with this though. And really, it's not 12 hours. I got a 14 hour clock. And these runs we use damn near every minute of the 14 hour clock. Fucking with these runs. And I don't know why that they don't demand that these loads be loaded sooner. Because of the traffic conditions. That traffic the later you come out there, the more traffic you finna deal with. And if you out there at rush hour, you gonna deal with it. The later you out there, there's more traffic out there. It's summertime, they out. And it runs your drive time down. But they expect me as a driver to pull a miracle. And see, when you are forced into those type of situations, it causes you to speed as a driver. That's not a good thing. I agree. I, I agree, man. Traffic in Illinois, traffic over there by Indiana, and damn show traffic coming out of Detroit, Michigan, 94, that uh that that little strip that goes right into Indiana, right? What what's that? The 80, 94 right there, man. It is ridiculous. Not to mention the construction area in all three states you got indiana construction you got michigan construction and you got illinois construction it's like bro when is y'all gonna get finished with the construction over there man like wow but she is absolutely right the later you get your load the more that you're gonna deal with the traffic and of course, the shippers, receivers, and the companies is going to inspect you to pull a miracle out of your pocket. They still going to inspect you to get that load there on time. Even though they know for a fact that if you get like a late load that's going out, it's going to be late going in. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm all for what this young lady is saying, man. Dirty trucking. Make sure you guys go over there and follow her. Look, uh, I know a lot of you be like, oh, man, well, you know, trucking is a lifestyle. No, no, no. It's still a job. You still got a job to do. It's still a stressful job. That's another thing you guys is not telling the people out here. How much stress that you literally go through driving in some of those key areas in particularly illinois indiana and coming out of michigan the traffic the people that don't know how to drive the other people that don't give you the respect the construction that slows you down every minute something that only takes you 10 minutes will take you a damn hour and will burn off two hours of your time. Your clock, your 14 hour clock, don't stop. 
Now, when you stop, your drive clock stops. Yes. Yes. But when your 14 hour clock and your drive clock interacts into one, you're, 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 you're stuck. Not to mention the parking. Not to mention the parking because the parking aspect along those areas right there is ridiculous. Every truck stop is full. Every rest stop is full. Every corner is it's a truck there. Every every shoulder there's a truck there. It was it, it, it was bound to happen that that accident with the Greyhound was going to happen. It was bound to happen. It was bound to happen. But again, we're in a job that we are inspect to have the load there at the time that they requested to be there. Not to mention the fact that if we don't even get there on time, then we have to be waitlisted. Meaning that when we get there, and if we don't get there on if we don't get there on time, they don't care. They already know that the traffic construction and everything else that hold us back, they don't care about that. If you're not there at two o'clock, oh well. Well, here, we, we, we're gonna put you on a we're gonna put you on a list and we're gonna take care of the tens of twenties of thirties of trucks that was there way before you. Which is okay. I understand. You know, you, you got an appointment to do. You know, you got you yourself have a job to do. But I'm just saying, you know, as far as compassion for us, you know, drivers that get get the low late and got to go through all of that, all, all of that just to get there, you know, just, just a little bit of compassion will go a long way. But again... This is trucking. And again, there's no loyalties. They don't care. Just make sure we want our we want our stuff there on time. We don't care how you get in here. Now, she did mention something about the speed. So before I get on up out of here, listen to this. Yeah. 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 Now that you get a late load, now you're stuck in the situation. Now you're in spec to get the load there on time, which causes you to put a little bit of extra pressure on that fuel pedal, right? So instead of 65, you're gonna push a little bit more than like 69, 70, maybe, maybe, maybe 75 in some case. Now, you know what they say about speeding, right? You know, speeding is one of the leading causes of accidents out here. Because if you speed, that means you're going to have to hard break. If you hard break too late, you're going to end up in the accident. Think about that. Let's get the conversation started. Do you guys agree? Disagree? Let me know in the comments below. Big G's got it locked. Boy. Won't you love me all night? Yeah, take me down. Won't you love me in the real way? Yes, yeah, I'm around. Won't you take it like a G? And I'll make a sound. And I want you to miss me when I'm not around. Come dive in my ocean. Sip on my pool. My love is like lotion. It's all over you. You all over me. Cause you my little boo. How many times I gotta tell you, don't fuck around. Cause they got you insecure. You me your